mom out for lunch for her birthday and I am staying in bed with ice on my shoulder and I am watching the Hunger Games series. Part 1, Hunger Games, Part 2, Catch and Fire, and Mockingjay Part 1, because I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, I haven't either. Yeah. So, I am going to lay here in bed and I am going to watch those. I already let my shoulder hang today, or my arm hang today, whatever you want to say. Kind of hurt a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go to lunch with Mom. Mom's here already. No, 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 no. Feeling, feeling fine let thank, from her. Let me thank everybody personally for your birthday wishes. That was very sweet. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, all our fans love you. Yeah, I love they them do. too. And Mom brought me a rose. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take off. If you, if you drop something, you're on your own. So we decided to come to Jack in the Box for lunch. Mmm, this burger again. So she, good. She, loves, she loves the buttery burger. And of course, I've got my greasy tacos. So, and after this, we're going to go to uh, a couple of stores to get some shopping done. And that's about it. Okay, Val, I think I found your fan. I think it'll fit right next to your bed. Okay, so today I'm looking for some screws to screw in to the concrete to hold my little wooden edge on. This one's designed for stucco, and I'm only going through about an inch of stucco. So I need a concrete anchor, and I think it has to be I got a three quarter inch piece of wood. I'm going to drill a hole about three eighths of an inch. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, here I am back in my garage and the uh, polyurethane is dry on the wood. It's uh, rough, rough to the touch. It's a very thin layer. It looks okay, but it looks, you know, amateur. I don't have any drips or or spots which is always good uh, so my next step for this is to actually sand it down and I am going to use steel wool and you just get regular steel wool get it at uh, uh, Home Depot and I'm looking for ultra fine which is the, uh, the, the four zeros uh, for uh, grade zero 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 that's the, the lightest you can get and we sand the whole thing down with that. So it's just a light sanding, which is why steel wool is, is so good. It just knocks down the, the, the rough spots as left by the uh, first uh, layer of polyurethane. So you just uh, sand it down, it's a little dull. Don't get crazy, you don't want to take it all off. You're just knocking down the bumps. So after you've done that, you just make sure you get all the, the dust off. And then you're ready for your second coat. clean brush, putting on my second coat. Do exactly the same thing. After I put on this coat, I will tip it again. And then tomorrow, I will do the sanding again with the steel wool. And last step, 
for this is going to be um, paste wax. Again, I'll use the steel wool to put on the paste wax. Let it sit for a while, and then buff that off, and this should be nice, smooth, shiny piece of wood, well sealed. Okay, so this is the most I can do again. Got a little hair. And I'm tipping, hitting all those little bubbles. And that's it for today. And I'll clean my brush, let this dry once again. And uh, tomorrow it's going to be sanding and waxing. Hello, everybody. She's awake. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Kind of awake. <laughs> I'm awake, but I'm in pain. And I'm grumpy. She's grumpy. I need a grumpy hat on. Okay, Alyssa Page thinks Kevin needs to shave. However, Betsy Wetsy thinks he looks sexy. And I'm with Betsy Wetsy. I think he looks sexy with his longer beard and his longer hair. I'm going to be very sad when he gets a job and he has to shave it. And he has to cut his hair. But he looks sexy to me all the time anyway. But. Good take. I, I, I like him better like this. And. I'd like to give a big shout out thank you to Pepper from Pepper Scraps. She was our guest on Nibbling with the Neighbors this week because obviously with this whole thing going on, I am unable to do Nibbling with the Neighbors. So Pepper from Pepper Scraps did a video and did a recipe and submitted that to us to put into our segment of Nibbling with the Neighbors. So we were able to submit that, and that's whose recipe you saw this week. If anybody else would like to have their recipe be featured on our segment of Nibbling with the Neighbors, send in your recipe, a video of you making a healthy meal to be put up on our segment of Nibbling with the Neighbors. We do have another one coming up for you this week from Bryce Lee from the Oreo family. Yes, we do. Big D's cat Cammie is doing much better. We all put prayers out for Cammie the other night, and he, they didn't think Cammie was going to make it, and Cammie is doing much better. Still weak, but she is going to make it. So, thumbs up to Cammie. Okay, now, the other day, um, we did our Tag Tuesday, and I usually don't pick anything out of my tags to um, discuss in shout-outs, but this one I had to, <coughs> I have to bring forward, you know, it, it, it's a must, and it's the most embarrassing fart, okay? Everybody has a most embarrassing fart story, okay? And um, this girl's most, um, and, and I'm not going to name names until I'm done. Um, her most embarrassing fart story. She would, went to her boyfriend's father's house. First time meeting her boyfriend's father. And she had to go to the bathroom. And she went to the bathroom. And she accidentally let out a very loud fart. Well, her boyfriend and father heard it. And her boyfriend was laughing. And his father yelled, Did you break my toilet? Worst thing was, is that was her first fart in front of her boyfriend as well. <laughs> and to not leave you all in suspense, this happened to... One of our favorite subscribers, 
Eva Holmes. We love you, Eva. <laughs> Tell you Thunder fans. <laughs> okay. And my question the other day is if you had an extra hour, one hour in the day, like a 25 hour day instead of a 24 hour day, what would you do with that extra hour? And we had lots of people say things like catch up on sleep, um, play more video games, watch YouTube, relax, watch TV. Um, Terry Johnson actually said nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. But you know the problem with that? Nothing would turn into something. It always does. It always does. But my favorite one, and I think this could be done, Jess Lucero, walk the dog. That's spending time with man's best friend. That's getting you outside in the fresh air, getting you exercise, clearing your mind, and just all around good for you. So I like that answer the best out of everybody. So, my question for today. Hey, you never asked me what. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. My goodness. I'm sorry. I told you guys I'm not with it. Um, what, what, uh, if you had an extra hour in the day, what would you do? If I had an extra hour, would I have it to myself? I knew you were going to say something like that. Would, would I be able to actually have that hour? Hey, have you or have you not been having more time to yourself since Sarah's been here? I, well, yeah, but I'm just asking the question. Is this my hour? It's your hour. All right, so I will be in the garage. Well, we can do your hour. I would, as soon as I'm able to, go for a walk with the dog or something. Right now, I just want to be able to get this thing off my arm and move my arm. My question for today. Got a little jumpy there again. Oh, no. My question for today is... As many of you know, maybe all of you already know, I collect polar bears. Anything that has to do with polar bears, I collect. Do you have a collection? And if you do, what do you collect and why? That leads me to... Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Okay! So the last one was pretty simple. It was uh, the Dawn of the, De of the Deads, both of them 78. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. and uh, the 2004, where was the mall that they used? Uh, in 1978, they used the Monroeville Mall in Monroeville, Pennsylvania. Uh, back in 78, it was the biggest mall in the country. Now it's one of the smallest. <laughs> They're much bigger. And in uh, the 2004, they used the Thornhill Shopping Center in Ontario, Canada. And apparently it was abandoned at the time so that they could do whatever they wanted with it. Which is kind of cool. And the people who got that were Terry Johnson, Man BS, Mom's Vlog 80, The Abyss 92880, uh, Cold Today, Tanya Longley, and Greg Myers. Yay. Yay! Okay, so today's trivia question has to do with the movie from 1964. It was a black and white Vincent Price movie called The Last Man on Earth. Uh, this movie inspired several other movies. What did what movies did this movie inspire? That's my question. There you have it. There's your trivia question for today. <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you. Ah, get on my arm. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. <laughs> 
I thought she was singing. Ah! Oh, okay. Is that too much for you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you shut up. I'm so... We'll see you guys all tomorrow.